Well, I mean, it starts at special teams. So if you ain't playing special teams, <laughs> we probably ain't talking too much about defense, you know. And I just, that's just the culture in the room. Like, if you're not playing special teams, if you're not contributing on special teams, it's going to be very hard for you to play defense for me or for these coaches here um, that I work for and Coach Frost. But, but let me just tell you, um, it would have to take our special teams coach to say, hey, we don't need you on this right here. Um, in order for those guys not to be on special teams. And this is the whole total package. It's not just playing DB. It's the whole total package. This is a football team. So um, special teams is where these guys are needed. Those guys need to be the guys that when special team is called, they, they, they're pushing each other out the way, trying to be the one that coach need to get in there on special teams. And that's when, we, that's when we're really rolling, you know, when we got guys like that can get on special teams and be willing to, hey, I'd rather get on these special teams, coach, and then we'll, we'll talk about this defense later. Most of, most of these players have a tremendous amount of skill. They won't be here. Um, I think what's important is we stop talking about the skill and, and talk about what makes the player the player. Um, I want to see these guys compete at a very, very high level. And I want to see these guys tackle. I want to see these guys bounce up when they make a tackle. I want to see these guys uh, change direction in and out of breaks, make plays on the ball um, when it's their time within the defense. Um, and I want to see these guys uh, limit the amount of deep balls. All right, Limit the amount of deep balls is one of the biggest goals that we wanted to have last year. I think the guys did a great job of limiting, limiting those deep balls and some of those important games, Ohio State and those games that um, they had a lot of vertical threats on that football team. Um, I thought those guys did a great job of taking away that deep ball. And I think all those, you know, every last uh, DB that I've coached uh, since I've been coaching that's playing in, you know, in the National Football League, I think, you know, maybe these couple guys go, I have about 13 guys, but, you know, uh, those guys have been able to just let me coach them. And uh, it's been tough, you know, trust me, it's been tough. Some days they, you know, I get on them so much, they probably think I hate them, you know. But I just have so much passion into um, just watching things develop. And I'm pretty sure the younger guys that's in the room right now that want a chance to have, a, you know, want to have the chance to, uh, to be in that position, um, to be seen by the National Football League and even being scouted by the National Football League. Well, they know what they got to do to get to that point, you know. So uh, it starts right here, um, starts right here. As soon as they wake up in the morning and right before they go to bed, you know, choices that they, just, that they make when they wake up or what kind of person, what kind of player, what kind of teammate I want to be. And then, and then uh, before they go to bed, you know, obviously uh, resting, getting sleep and, you know, all that stuff works hand in hand, so.